vascular system um, and improves blood glucose. Um, so great if your pet has diabetes as well. After CoQ10, the other one that you'll find if you do a Google research on how to naturally treat my pet. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath uh, Fiona Chin, uh, co-founder of Kygenesis and of the Kidney Disease Solution. And today I wanted to do a video about treating kidney disease in our family, furry friends, and our pets in cats and dogs. Let's start by uh, having a look at kidney disease in our animals. So, um, yeah, so kidney disease affects about 1% to 3% of all cats and about 0.5 to 1.5% of all dogs. And it's actually one of the leading causes of death in cats as they age. So it is actually something that's really great to know about things that you can do to treat and actually things that you can do to uh, prevent uh, declining kidneys as our pets get older. In dogs, it's going to be the Samoid, the German Shepherd, the English Cocker Spaniel, um, and the Bull Terriers are actually more prone to kidney disease. And in cats, it's generally the Persian type breeds. But in reality, if the conditions are right, any of our pets can go on to end up with diminished kidney function if we're not careful, if we're not doing the right things for our pets. So what is different in our animals is that we obviously can't do or we don't tend to do kidney transplants and dialysis for our pets. So when we're looking at how to treat kidney disease, it's very different for pets versus uh, our, um, our human friends. And also that I think preventing kidney disease in our pets is something that we should really, as pet owners, be really thinking about because it's harder for our pets to tell us when there's something wrong. You know, animals are very stoic by nature. They don't tend to tell us when things are going on. And ironically, most dogs and cats in kidney failure produce actually huge quantities of urine. It's not that their um, urine flow diminishes, uh, which is something that people would often look for. And unless you're having um, annual routine blood tests, diminished kidney function can often go um, completely unnoticed by pet parents unless you absolutely know what you're looking for or unless it gets caught up um, it gets tested and, and caught um, just as a offside when you're having other bloods done. So early detection and uh, renal protective treatments are designed to uh, slow the progression and the loss of damage to neurons. Let me talk about the nutrients. And so there's two main nutrients that I highly recommend in um, animals with kidney disease. The first is coenzyme Q10. And if you jump on the website and put in natural treatments to kidney disease pets, you'll see there's a whole pile of stuff that comes up about CoQ10. CoQ10 is amazing. It's an antioxidant. It helps reduce energy. It's anti-inflammatory. Again, protects the cardiovascular system um, and improves blood glucose. Um, so great if your pet has diabetes as well. There's been quite a few studies done on pets using CoQ10. And in fact, the dosage um, of CoQ10 to use in pets is almost the same as humans. So if I had a cat, I would be wanting to get 90 milligrams of CoQ10 a day uh, divided into three doses. And for a dog, 100 to 300 uh, milligrams a day dose, um, depending on size. So for a polo, he's about 32 kilos. And if he had kidney disease, I'd have him on a minimum of 200 milligrams. If you have a great big Dane um, or a dog weighing around 60, 70 kilos, you probably want that closer to 400 to 500 milligrams a day. And then if you've got a small chihuahua or something like that, I'd still stick to about 100 milligrams a day of CoQ10. It doesn't have huge amounts of toxicity. It seems to be very well handled by animals. After CoQ10, the other one that you'll find if you do a Google research on how to naturally treat my pets with kidney disease is fish oil. And there is so much research done into uh, omega-3 fatty acids and kidney disease. And it's one of the things that my pets are on all the time. So Apollo gets salmon bellies and uh, sardines every day and gets one sardine and a couple of salmon bellies. And I still add a little bit of fish oil to his food, which is why um, he's got a beautiful glowing coat. Uh, but just fish oil is so amazing for dogs and actually, and cats. So dogs actually lack the ability to synthesize omega-3 and omega-6. And so therefore omega-3 is actually something called a dietary essential fatty acid. Um, and again, that's when you're giving your dogs and cats this dried kibble, it generally has no omega-3s in it. And if it does, the oils have been so processed and heated that they've become rancid. And it's in the, ran the rancidity of those oils that actually causes a whole pile of free radical damage and actually causes uh, more damage to the pet. So if you're looking at dried food, they'll often add things like corn oil, soy oil, 
As soon as you heat those and process them into a dried kibble, you're heating that oil and that what happens then is that oil becomes rancid and it oxidizes. And so therefore you're setting your pet up to be more likely um, to be prone to free radical damage, which will increase their risks of cancer, kidney disease, diabetes, arthritis, and a whole pile of inflammatory diseases. So the other thing to note too is that your um, pets, especially dogs, cannot convert plant-based sources of omega-3s like flax seed, linseed, or canola oil, which I'd never feed anyway, into the needed active forms of EPA and DHA. So you need to give it activated. Uh, so therefore, it needs to come in the form of fish oil. And you would be looking at, um, you know, good quality like Nordic Naturals where they've actually got the dosages of EPA and DHA on there. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, give us a like. Remember to hit subscribe so you'll get notified anytime we put out new content. And if you have a comment or uh, need some specific help, check it in the comment, comment, comment section below. I'm always looking at the comments and I will promise to get back to you. Have a beautiful day. Thanks again for being part of our um, Kimmy community. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.